Welcome back, survivors. I'm the survival of this, and we return to Mandibles for another Mandibles Monday. And the comments from last time were asking for me to try out the minigun, so I don't exactly need an excuse to want to try out the minigun, but let's face it, any reason that we have to want to pick her up, we're going to take it. So let's go down and get that as one of our first ones and see just what... Okay, I mean, we could try... I'm trying to think of the ones that would actually come after us, and I think that's honestly it there. So we could actually go on Mirkmoshlau, go for Macrocana, the Pomona Scorpius, and the Cretorbus. I don't know if that actually increases the chances we'll see them on the map or not, but it might actually cause them to pop up a little more often. We'll have to see. And I did get comments from the last video with all the plants kind of popping in and out. I did switch the fog off in the options. That may help. But it might also be the engine itself, it just can't quite render everything so well, but we'll just hop in and see. It could be either one of those two. But with that all in order, we won't waste any more time and get to see how we do with the minigun, shall we? So let's hop into Hunt. Okay, so we're all loaded up here in Mirkmore Slough. So far, nothing really popping in and out like the other one, so it could have been just I had the wrong setting left on. So let me find the minigun, that is... Ooh, number six, jeez, that actually kind of scared me with... I forgot the sound of it that it makes. What the... Alright, so I guess we'll put you away for now, and let's look in the map. Where exactly are we? So we're in the northwest again. So more than likely we're going to want to head southeastern. And the map wind actually isn't too badly against us this time. So I'm hoping with some more of the aggressive wildlife turned on, we'll be able to try the minigun a little better in taking something on. But I think the minigun kind of does cross the line in mandibles for going from hunter to shooter more than... Because, I mean, like, how do you argue it's okay to be using the minigun for hunting anything? That's a special type of person, I think, who would take a minigun out hunting, but I guess we are that type of person for this one. We'll just go along, see what we can find. Although, then again, considering we might have things like the Cretorbus or the Pulmona Scorpius coming after us, a minigun might be a bit of a good answer for Giant Scorpion and Giant Carrion Beetle. Oh, I know hear some movement. Well, we got a Macrocana out there. Surprisingly, I wonder the resolution setting has helped with their detection of us. Is... Ah, see, I don't think we'd get in range to be able to make the most of this. If we could have snuck in a little closer, I think we might have, but... The spread is so varying on this, I don't know how well we do. So maybe what we'll do is we'll... Try to follow the Miss Macrocana. We shouldn't have the wind as a problem. We'll try to follow it along, see if we can sneak up a bit on it, because, yeah, it is just up this way. I am kind of curious how quickly this thing might shred through a poor little Macrocana. I mean, if the whole puncher is able to one-shot them, will it just be like a few rounds and that'll be down, or... It does make me curious how well the minigun will work on them. I don't hear it. Oh, no, I think I... Okay, I see him. He's gone over this way. Oh, there are actually two right here. I think we got him, because I don't see him hopping anymore, and considering what we that bit of burst fire, I don't think anything in our path would be still upright. Yeah, he's already taken on, or well, I shouldn't say taken on, he's taken down. He ain't coming back up for a while. Although I do have to question how a tranquilizer works with a minigun. Because I'm pretty sure if you tried that, you'd probably overdose the poor things that you're going after, but... We'll just say it's tranquilized, 
and continue on our way and see if we can get another one quickly. I think it's kind of ironic that I'm using the minigun for what's probably one of the most agile animals we have unlocked at the moment, too. Like the Makrokana, because it can hop around like it does, it's very tricky to try to get some of the shots on once it's been alerted, but... We did manage to pull off getting the first one down there. We just need to figure out where the other one might have gone to. And I have been playing a little bit of The Hunter Call of the Wild in my spare time, and... I know I shouldn't compare the two, but it just feels like between the Carnivore series and what the Hunter has done, you can make a perfect base for more hunting games like this. Like, using things like the mandibles or the Carboniferous insects and Triassic creatures. Just, you could really make yourself a blueprint for a perfect fantasy hunting game. Should I call it? I guess it that probably might be the best one is fantasy because it's not exactly or would that more entail like hunting after a unicorn or some crap like that? I don't know what you'd really call it. I guess dinosaur hunting game kind of works except these aren't really dinosaurs. You know what my phrasing is though. That kind of genre of hunting game where it's not exactly animals you can properly go after and hunt as something like the Hunter series does. Excluding the Hunter Primal, but that was kind of like a mess of an idea. I still feel like that one had so much potential, but they just took it the wrong way. Okay, so I have no idea where the other Makokana went off to, so probably won't spend too long on that. Maybe we will sprint our way along, just so that way we can keep things interesting. And yeah, it does seem to me that might have been my mistake, was I had the fog turned on accidentally in the options setting. So I think the, what that did was cause certain things within beyond the fog to go invisible, or like pop out of render and then pop in once we got close enough, or... I don't really know the logistics of it, but right now, I'm, I do suppose we are seeing some things popping in and out, but I don't think it was anywhere near as bad as on our other one. Alright, oh, that's... Well, we're back to the one way down already. Our, our path of carnage has begun with just that one there, but we'll go along. Oh, right, don't want to drown because we actually have a start of a successful hunt. So is there a landmark I want to aim for? Um, I don't really think so. Because well, aside from the Ming Mountain in the middle, there's not really too many landmarks on Mirkmore Slough to go off of. Maybe we'll try going after something else. Let's try Pomona Scorpius Call quickly. Okay, nothing back from that. Okay, Minigun, it does take a while to wind up, but I think I see... Oh, I do see somebody. Oh, and he's coming for us. Oh, minigun, I love you. I just wish I had the double ammo on you so we could be out a little longer, but... Okay, you're kind of popping in and out there, depending on how I viewed you, but... I didn't think we actually called anything in with that. I don't know... I mean, we could try going for one more thing. It's just that the ammo count is a little low. We'll just have to hopefully be... You know what? I'm actually going to have a big brain moment here. I'm going to end this hunt here with the two successes we had so far. Just so I don't blow it. Okay, so we're back here in the menu. And yeah, I wanted to kind of hold off on going after another thing with our ammo count so low. But now we can actually afford to get the whole core base as one of our options as well. I mean, I could try for the double barrel, but let's face it. If we're using the minigun, we want to use the minigun. So I think with that, we should go for another hunt into Mirkmore Slough, or should we try? I don't know. We'll go back to Mirkmore Slough, see if we can get enough points to get the double ammo. And then see what we want to do, because I could always do the hole puncher and go for another... I mean, it's kind of... It's accurate, but it's not exactly polite. It would basically just be a shooting spree, because, like I said, the hole puncher, I just love how accurate and just how powerful it is. And then this one... Oh, it looks so interesting. The prototype railgun. 
The only problem is it's 500 points. So unfortunately, it's going to take a while before we can get that, but we do have the mini guns, so we're going to hop in and play around with that a little more. Okay, we're, we're, we are back in the schlau. I apologize for the bit of noise, just getting the minigun out. Okay, so where are we posted this time? Northwest corner again. It's kind of peculiar. I thought maybe we'd get somewhere else. Well, maybe we'll start going after the biggest one we got on our roster, or at least the one we should get the most points from, the Kertorbis. Uh, no reply back, and I think, yeah, it is just the Ark Malacris going around. Okay, you know what? We went to the south, well, kind of more southeast-ish, or just straight south, so maybe we'll try east and northeast more. See if we can get lucky and find anything about and around us. I do have to say, I do like the feel of the minigun where, as bad of a shot as I am, just because... This is a num this is quantity over quality for your shots with the minigun. And it does feel powerful to actually have that in your hand and being able to use it. It actually does speak also to just how ver how incredible modders can be and the ideas that they not only come up with, but can implement so well, like Okay, I thought I heard like a little thump, but like you have the whole animation of it coming out, the spin on it, and then like that is a lot of detail to put into it, and that ooh, well hello, you are exactly what we're looking for. That's it. Come closer. Come closer. So if we have the whole button, sure. I think we gotta call this, of course, the Schneider. Okay. Oh crap, where is he? Okay, that took a lot more than I thought it would, but yeah, this is definitely the Schneider. We have the hole puncher, the shredder. What other office supplies can we make or nickname things as? I guess we'll kind of see as we keep going along. But yeah, the Shredder is a very welcome addition to the roster when you, with my past experience in tri Triassic with those damn Coelophysis. As small and as innocuous as they seem, I don't even know if that's actually the right term, but I will use it anyway. As innocuous as they seem, they can still be hard to get a good shot on and then just leap up and get you, so... It feels good to give you something, uh, just basically shreds anything that gets too close. I should also check and see, make sure the sensitivity is alright. I think it's, it actually feels pretty fitting, but I don't know if this is a little too easy or not. Then again, I think on a hunting game, it's, if I was doing videos like this, I think I would want it a little easier, just so I do have more I can show you guys. And too hard and everything just runs away from me all the time. Well, let's try getting another Kratorbus then. I hear something just up here. I think it might just be an Arc Malacris, but I, you never know. Could even be a Makwakana. Oh, no, it's just a Titan Lock or Malacris. Don't worry, we're not going to use the minigun on you guys. That is way too much overkill to be using the shredder on one of those little guys. And that's basically like using a chainsaw on a cockroach. Well, it technically might be very fitting of an analogy given the way the two operate. Or, I shouldn't say how the two operate, but the similarities. Because the Arc Malacris just seem like giant cockroaches, really, and then... My chains... Well, it's... See... It's called a minigun, which is a little odd, considering it's not mini in any form, it's more like a... Ch it, I was going to say chain gun, but it uses more of a chain-fed belt sometimes. 
God, why is it when I am trying to figure out something to do, I go rambling into technicalities? I don't know if I should try figuring out stories to tell while I'm just out about hunting or what, but at least it, I guess it's kind of like shower thoughts, just hunting thoughts instead. Ah, oh, do do do. How are we doing on? Oh yeah, we got plenty of ammo, so we should be okay there, at least for a little while. I think that's... Okay, maybe that's just ambient an animal, because it was coming from behind us, so... I thought for a minute there was something running away, but... The speed in the footsteps sounded a little too light for anything we've really been going after. I mean, the Makwakana, we would see sort of hop, or hear it hop in a way. Uh, the whole Koro, I think you hear a little bit more, kind of like, a weight to the sound effect. I mean, it could have even been one of those, and I just might have been an idiot, but I'm an idiot making my own path, so we'll keep going along and see what else I can find. Okay, so we're coming up into the, the sort of bay. I don't remember if we've really had any luck with anything in that area. I know the ambience loops pretty badly around there, so as we get close to the water, we'll probably hear... Yeah, we may hear the ambience start looping pretty frequently if we get too close here, but... I don't think there's really anything to see. We did have the one Yopertura, or Yopertura, or whatever it was, I think along the northern edge there. And, oh, there's a Bernicia out there in the water. I don't see anything else at the moment, though, so we'll just keep going. I may try calling something in. Let me see what my options are. Uh, the Katarvas, we did get one, although they might not be bad to get a bit of variety. Macrocana is pretty simple. I'm thinking either the Whole Crow or the Pomono. Ah, do do. Right, probably shouldn't hold the key down, otherwise we get the random. Ah, you know what? Maybe this is a good idea. Let's do a random chance. Let's try again. There we go. We'll go for Pomono Scorpius. Yeah, I didn't hear a reply back. So I don't think there's one in the immediate area. Although that said, it could easily just come over a hill and start charging us. So we're kind of in the marshlands. And yeah, I'm definitely going to try to get out of here, because the ambience is looping a little too much for my liking. So we're going to just kind of sprint our way out of here. There we go, it's quieting down again. Like I say, the ambience isn't bad, but when it's on a steady loop like that, it can drive you a little nuts. So, we'll just get up to the top here and do a little bit of looking around. And we don't really have that much to see. Oh, a Diplocolis out there, Hylonymus, Archimolacris. Okay. Still kind of quiet in the schlau. Yeah, we shouldn't have to worry about the ambience coming back unless we go near water, so we should be alright for trying to wrap this hunt up with one more thing. It is getting, um, I wouldn't say too late for a recording, it's just because there are a few pauses and stops here and there that I have taken to mind for it, but we'll probably go for a few more minutes, just try to at least bag, either bag one more thing or get bagged by one thing. So we'll try going forward and see. Let's try for another Pulmona Scorpius. Yeah, 
and I'll reply back. I'm not really seeing anything else, just kind of in the tree line. And I hear the Manganero right above us there. I was kind of hoping to find one more thing. You know, it's just like a little Mokokana. Well, that was just a bit of plant flicker. <laughs> Not as successful as I was hoping so far. Oh, well, there is a little Hylonimus or something just over this way. Well, although, actually, I don't hear the map ambience right now, so... Maybe it's just around the little bay area that... Or the kind of marsh inlet. That could be... It's just kind of around that area it's programmed to go off. Just go up by the Dipocolis there... Maybe we'll try one more call and see if we can get a reply now that we're a little further south. <laughs> Nothing. It really feels like sometimes the maps are just completely empty on you. Okay, well, we'll hike up here, just get a little look around, see if we can spot anything we can kind of go after. Just as a little way we can wrap this up. Hmm. I think all that noise is, is an Arkham... Arkham Alac Yeah, there it is, the Arkham Alacris. It's funny how certain names I have no problem saying, but others still get me. Like the Archmalacris, or the Cotorbis, or the Pomono Scorpius, or the Pleura, those ones, no problem with. But when it's like the whole Corobus, or... It just for some reason throws me for a loop. And I don't know why. I think it's because of that pronunciation of the E-U-S at the end there. You don't really see that too often in... Well, I shouldn't even... I shouldn't say the English language, because it is... That, because it's more Latin, I think. But it's that pronunciation of how you exactly do that part of it. Oh, a bit of wind blowing. Yeah, I don't see anything. I was really hoping we could at least get one more thing to this hunt, although... I suppose we gotta take the shredder on one the... Uh, so that's a nice little bundle of points. And it's been quite a few episodes, so maybe next one we'll be taking the whole puncher back out for a little more fun. I should see what our total is nearing, too, because I think we're getting up there to maybe be able to go after the, go into the hive soon. Just the random reptile ambience in the mix of it, but yeah, there's... Nothing really around us, so we're probably going to end this episode here. So, thank you guys for joining me on another episode of Carnivore's Mandibles. If you do have any requests for what you'd like me to see go either hunt animal-wise or bring with me weapon-wise, be sure to leave me a comment down below. I'm always hoping for feedback and include you guys in every series I do. Until I see you all in the next episode, though, survivors and hunters alike, please remember to take care and stay alive.